There is a reason why the pagan rulers of this world want to keep you in an anxious state. They want to keep you in the relief seeking. It is because when you're not in this anxious state anymore, you will be able to process things properly. And once you're able to process things properly, because you're not distracted by the pressures of daily life, you're not, you're not under the pressure anymore of financial difficulties or financial cares or the duties of adulthood, or have the call in society. Once you've been freed from all that garbage thinking, you'll be able to process things properly and because of that, you'll be able to see through stuff. And once you're able to see through stuff, their power over you is gone. It's gone when it happens. So we don't want people to notice that something is up. You want to keep them in an anxious state because once people are in an anxious state, naturally they want to relieve, they want to get rid of that, of that anxiety. So you keep provoking anxiety on the human population and automatically they want to relieve from it and you offer them relief instantly from the anxiety you force on them. That's how you keep them trapped in a vicious cycle. That's how the pagan rulers rule this world. Now you know why those Babylon churches, I call them Babylon churches, and you know why I'm calling them that way. That, that's why those Babylon churches never teach you, nor never teach you the real gospel, and they never preach righteousness. Righteousness is simply agreeing with Christ. And holiness is the power working out through you when you agree with Christ. But man, he won't even explain the difference between righteousness and holiness to you. Why not? Because they are there to keep you trapped in the trauma simulation or, ma or the matrix. That's why. They offer you quick relief for a problem that doesn't even exist. There's this function because people think the problem is real. And now they offer you relief for that problem that doesn't exist while the dysfunction is covered up. And that's how to keep, they keep the human population deceived. That's why so often in scripture it says, fear not. That's why it also states very clear in the New Testament, God has, has not given us a spirit of fear. If fear was beneficial in any shape or form, the Messiah would have granted it to us in his package of salvation. He didn't. He didn't. So if fear is not included in the package of salvation, then there is no benefit to it for us. So there isn't such thing as holy fear, reverent fear, righteous fear, good fear. If there's good fear, that means there's also good murder. Then there's also good child molestation. There's also good cancer, good infection. Then there's also, man, should I continue? Oh, I don't have to. There is no such thing as good fear. Fear is an alien invader. That's what it is. Well, that's it for now. Agree with Christ and be at peace.